The Legacy Fighting Alliance was in the Lone Star State for the 13th time in the promotion's history as LFA 52 went down outside Austin, Texas. Hey, Fight fans, Ron Kruk joined, as always, by the UFC Hall of Famer, Pat Militich. Pat, LFA 52 was the final card from longtime legacy and LFA matchmaker Colin Cantrell. And once again, Colin delivered. He did not disappoint at all. Which he never does, does he? No, especially not tonight. Colin, best of luck. Here are the highlights from LFA 52. The big men up first, Vernon Lewis and Jeremy Hardy. These guys, Pat, surprisingly went into the third round. Jeremy Hardy, I tell you what, was fighting a masterful fight, picking at Lewis constantly, little chopping kicks down low, good jabs, nice right hands thrown in there, and Lewis just kind of kept lumbering forward the entire fight, and even Jeremy Hardy hit great takedowns, but that liver kick right there is what started the downward spiral. Lewis recognized it and started to let those cinder block hands of his fly until the referee finally had to step in. I mean, he really had no choice, Ron. Jeremy Hardy was controlling this fight, but the big shot from Vernon Lewis was it. John Shorley finally steps in there, and it's Vernon Lewis, TKO, getting his sixth career victory. He'll enter into our Access TV heavyweight rankings. We move on to the middleweight division, where we had uh, Jonathan Haiti taking on Puna Soriano. Yeah, the island fight right here. Both these guys originally coming from the Hawaiian Islands, and they did not disappoint. They threw constantly. It was a brawl from the very get-go. Potty and Soriano, but Soriano landing that beautiful left hand over the top, hurting Potty and pouncing on him, and finally locking up this rear choke after he flattens him out and gets the tap. Una Soriano coming in, making his LFA debut, gets the victory and remains undefeated, improving to 5-0. Co-main event, Jimmy Flick, CJ Hamilton. Jimmy Flick took this fight on two weeks' notice against the dangerous CJ Hamilton, but who needs a training camp, says Jimmy Flick. Well, I tell you, CJ Hamilton was fighting perfect, in and out, beautiful strikes, landing all kinds of techniques, but Jimmy Flick, once he got the takedown, he stuck to CJ like glue. See him locking up this arm triangle. CJ trying to scramble out. He's already escaped one of these. And you can see him slide out to the side, block the hip with his knee, sticks the foot in there eventually, and locks him out. Slick submission from Jimmy Flick, who has now beaten Johnny Bedford and a very talented CJ Hamilton in the LFA. Main event key matchup in the Bantamweight division. Ray Rodriguez taking on Chris Gutierrez. Two Bantamweights looking to get into the title mix. I mean, we thought with Gutierrez and Rodriguez it was going to be grappler versus striker in this one. And it turned out that Gutierrez had something up his sleeve with beautiful grappling skills. Takes the black belt, gets him into trouble on the ground, locks up the rear choke right when he gets his back and gets the tap. It was incredible. Once he sunk that choke in, Rodriguez was done. 12th career victory for Chris Gutierrez, but his first career submission win. Access TV Fights returns on November 2nd for CES 53 from Lincoln, Rhode Island, and then title fights galore at LFA 53. LFA 54, and we will wrap things up with LFA 55, November 30th. One more event in December before the LFA wraps up a very busy 2018. For Pat Militich, I'm Ron Kruk. Remember to follow us every week on social media.